Ask her to pose without holding on to the cable, please. I think it was very interesting today because this whole in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to a photo shoot from America's Next Top Model where they harnessed the girls and let them dangle from a really high tower for a photo shoot. I forgot it was for a photo shoot, not just because they're not like rock climbing or anything because it's a tower, but it's for it's for pictures. This is what we do for photography, I guess. So I'm going to be taking a look at that one. You guys have been requesting it. So I'm finally going to take a look and see, see what you guys want me to to react to. So we're driving that to the location and I see the same kind of looking tower that I saw in Canada. And I don't know anything about it. I hate it. I don't even want to see it. I don't do heights. Like, I don't think people understand. I don't do heights. And we arrive right there. She doesn't even hate heights. She hates the entire building as well. Is it just a coincidence or just... Oh, like we didn't even know that she was scared of heights, but look, there's a photo shoot involving heights, a really tall building uh, on your season while you're in the competition. What do you guys think? Seems a little bit too convenient for me. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if the producers are like, hey, uh, we heard that she hates heights. What about Mount Everest? Is it too, is Mount Everest too late? It is? Okay, can we just get a tower maybe? Yo, you got one of those? Okay, give me your largest one. I want the largest one. Mr. J is recalling the memories. Remember, remember when you guys were all deathly afraid? Remember that? Like some of some of the girls are just trying to move on with their life, you know, move past the trauma. He's like, remember, remember. You guys asked me, are we doing a photo shoot of the CN Tower? What did I tell you guys? They knew from the be look at look at Jay even tells them to their face, hey, we know you're scared of heights. And we saw the fear in your eyes. And we were thinking about it. And here we are. It's like heights. I'm terrified of heights. I cannot imagine doing a photo shoot like this. Where you could be risking your life. I don't care what it is. If you're putting me higher than the first floor. I'm not. I, I don't know if I could do it. I'm just going to. I'm going to sit this one out. I'm going to take a lunch break. Well, I kind of told a half truth because we weren't doing a shoot then. But today you guys are doing your photo shoot. Here, in the Macau Tower, 764 feet above the ground. Did he just say that he brought them there a second time? So the first time, what was that for? Just to scare them? That is so... I don't like the fact that they did that because the first time they probably just got a reaction out of them like, oh, you guys are terrified. Don't worry. We're not going to do the photo shoot. And then they bring them a second time and they're like, you guys really thought <laughs> the girls are not looking happy. The Macau Tower is the home of the tallest bungee jump in the world. You will be in harnesses out there with our very own Mr. Nigel Barker. Who's Did he have to give the fact about the bungee jump thing? I think they could have done without that. Maybe he should have started out small. Hey, we hold toddler birthday parties. Mickey Mouse has been here a couple times too in costume. Great guy. He loved it here. No, he just he just has to come out with the most extreme thing possible. Yeah, uh, 15, like Spider-Man comes here on the weekends. This is where Spider-Man actually, you know the movies he makes where he jumps from building to building? He actually, he started on this building. Uh, to top it all off, it looks like it's storming out there. We see the rain. There's even rain in inside where they're standing. Does that, which is going to make it slippery. That could make it worse. I don't know. That's where your shoot's gonna be. This is like the worst photo shoot I think they could give me. It's raining so hard. It's really windy. It's so, so high up. Like, I just... I don't think I can do this. I really don't think I can do this. You got to give it up to Nigel though. He's he's it looks like he's been out there for like 3 hours waiting. He's just kind of casually standing there. He's like, "Hey, oh, it's wonderful out here. Beautiful. It's, it feels like 85." You will be in harnesses out there with our very own Mr. Nigel Barker. I love how he introduces Nigel as if Nigel has all these qualifications like, "Oh yeah, well Nigel, don't worry. You're not alone. Nigel's out there." Yeah, he's just a photographer. He can't actually help you like that. He's not an expert by any means. He can't. He's not going to fix your harness or anything. We arrive at Macau Tower, and I knew it was a photo shoot, and I am beyond excited. I love hikes. I love thrill-seeking. 
And you got the people out here squeegeeing the area outside, even though it's raining. <laughs> so how's that gonna, isn't it just going to rain more? But it's good that they're doing that. Safety first. Safety first. I met, like, have you ever tried to shovel snow and then the next day it just snows more? That's my life right now. That's my life. That's been my life. I'm all for this. Know that you're safe. Sophie, you'll be first. I would never, ever do anything like this. Look, I'll show you the I don't like flying. I don't like roller coasters. I don't like carnivals. I'm not going to be a bumper. Oh, my God. I'm, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I feel terrible that she has to do this. And she's the first one up. And it looks like she has the biggest fear of heights. Can't she just go last? Why did, can she just go with somebody? Can you guys send somebody with her? The past few years, the skyline in Macau has exploded. You girls can represent the strength and the power of Macau and the cities that are being your background. I'm going to have you go up first. I'd really rather not. I'd really, really rather just see someone. Are you sure you want to go out first with me? No, I think I need to get fixed. <laughs> right. Do I have a volunteer? Okay, I'm glad that she stood her ground there. I, I always felt like they shouldn't have put her first anyway, so I'm glad, really happy that she said something. Love how Nigel's like, do I have a volunteer? Would you like to stand outside a building? Yeah, just dangle from it on a piece of string. Is that, a, you want to do that? Okay, great. Well, one of the girls already said that she likes heights, so they should just have her go first. Go first. All right, Laurie, you're my girl. I think it's a good idea to go first. I think it'll be good. Get it done. Do you think I can go first? Yes. Because I don't want to delay things by people having to read in my makeup. <laughs> well, once you're out there, there's rain, there's water, yeah. so tears, there's not a problem. Thank you. All right, good, thank you. I hate that there was a little bit of pressure about her going first, when in reality, it probably wouldn't have mattered if she went first, third, or last. Because isn't it all about the final picture in the end? And it's not like she, say, she was saying she wasn't going to go. She just needed a second to get herself together. And also, I think she said makeup touch-ups. Excuse me? So you just want her hit like Titanic right now, arms out. Do you want her to also do a, a couple backflips too? There, the, you're pushing it here. You're pushing it here. I don't care if it's for modeling or not. I mean, someone's safety should be the first priority and what they're comfortable with. I, I'm glad that there's a lot of people around and maybe someone in the comments can tell us how safe or not safe this is. In the past photo shoots, I know a lot of you guys have shared your knowledge on these photo shoots, and I think it's so important. So leave your thoughts in the comments. I get it's a modeling competition, but I would not feel comfortable making somebody do something like this. And it's like, you could probably just do this in a studio for just Photoshop the city in the back. There's stock images out there. Didn't you guys do that for the one in space? You guys Photoshop the, a galaxy behind the girls? Just do the same thing. I try some of that holding it. So she can, you want her to fly away? Mr. J, Mr. J's in there with his really nice jacket. It, it must be freezing out there too. You can see her shaking. She's nervous. She's, it's her worst fear ever. And you want her right away. He's like, just, can you just get rid of the cable? Really? Try and get the harness a little bit further away from the body if you can. So if he's crying, like I'm gonna cry as well, but I'm still trying to act cool here because I don't want it to affect my performance. I really need this photo shoot. I think more than anybody else. Relax your fingers a little bit. Okay. Relax your face. I feel like we've got good shots. Jay is happy. Uh, yeah. Well done, babe. Also, you know what I thought about? What if you slip and you're not holding onto the harness? There's not, you know, anything. I don't trust these things. That's why I stay on the ground. That's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And it just all built up and I just sobbed. Get inside and warm up. <laughs> I wouldn't have even went out. I would have just stayed in, got some lunch. I would have came back with a sandwich. They would have probably got security after me and kicked me out and sent me home. The thing is, I'm not scared of actual heights. I'm scared of falling from a height. 
<laughs> so when there is wind blowing at me and I'm standing there without holding on to anything, I'm definitely going to be a bit nervous. Yeah, it's also windy. That's what I'm saying. What if the wind carries them and they slip and fall? Is, it looks like, what is this? Just, it doesn't look like it's glass or anything. I would be the first one to go. <laughs> slip and slide down that building. And they dress the girls like it's summertime. Like, is a freaking storm outside? You're going to put her in a halter dress? What happened look to me? You know, I really like the way Emily's worked with the harness. And she actually kind of made it look like she was an archer, like this crouching on tiger, hidden dragon thing. Ooh. She didn't fight it. No, she didn't fight it at all. And she actually kind of brought in this feeling of the culture here. And I like that. Well, that's the face. Pretty, pretty. Okay, we're good. We got it. I don't even know what to say. It's visibly windy. It's stormy. It's rainy. Is it safe to be up that high? I don't know. Well, I want to say no, but I'm not an expert at the weather. I'm not a weather man or woman. Love that close up on her foot, like on the ledge. Like even the crew knows it's dangerous. <laughs> Wait, let's see it. Foot being like two, like a centimeter away from the ledge. Oh God. Seeing someone that excited versus everybody else, just not, everyone's just over it. What a contrast. This model's just like, you can set up my house on there too. I don't care. How much is rent up here? Okay, you know what, Laura is, I mean, she is working my nerves. She's so fabulous. I think I, I rocked it out during this shoot. I'm looking at the girls and I'm like, all right girls, I'm gonna bring it. Like she did the whole I'm on a beauty pageant float during this parade and I'm waving to all of you guys and please vote for me. They're such a mood. I love it. They're just over there. They're watching her waving, doing all this stuff and they're, sh they're just eating. They're just like, I'm over this. <laughs> I love it. I just have to say, she's an incredible model. She's really thinking of her posing and the shapes that she's making with her arms. Like I'm already seeing so many great poses from her right away. In the competition, we're all such strong models, but I have to look at everything I've gone through and see how far I've come. Like I'm in Macau, that's, that's not something to roll your eyes at. Don't no, forget to smile, see those eyes and that energy. So far, it looks like she's doing the best job. I'm, I'm just gonna say it like her posing has been a plus she's doing standing sitting half you know, like everything she's doing everything Alicia was extremely traumatized I thought she was a little bit tougher than that like Alicia's been in bottom two a few times so she's gotta get a good shot today and I think everybody knows that she probably is a little bit weak but she's coming for it I can't imagine that it's completely safe given that there's a storm brewing. It looks like a cauldron, a witch's cauldron, and they're in the middle of it. At least they gave her flat shoes for this one. But you can see there's water on the ground too. What if the girls slip? That's what I would be worried about. It looks like they're rubber though. I don't care if there's 15 ledges, a security camera, a TSA agent right here. I would not feel safe. Can you tell her to put her chin down? Every shot, we're looking all the way for her nose. Chin down. Pictures. I think it was very interesting today because this whole environment gave all the girls a wake up call. And for Alicia, she knew that this was make or break. We're done, we're good. The entire premise of the photo shoot is to showcase the city yeah, there's a storm and you can see that it's very windy and very bright out. And there's a lot of rain. So how is the background even going to show? We'll have to see these final pictures. Guess what? That's a wrap up in Macau Tower. That was crazy. Okay, let's go to the judging. Our ladies were 764 feet in the air on the Macau Tower. For no reason. Hello, pom-poms. So, how was it? I actually thought it was going to be worse than it was. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad I did it. Well, let's see if the fun <laughs> turned into fabulousness. Love the editing and the colors that they're a little bit more muted. The pose for me, I would have softened it up a little bit. Maybe just like 
made it like i don't know it's hard for me to to give a critique on this knowing the conditions and the environment that these models were in wow you can even see the rain drops on the camera lens right here like right there i mean it adds a really cool touch to it but you just you lose a lot of the background you really could have done this in studio or even on the ground. The concept really revolved heavily around showing the city. And I don't think it was successful at all. You hardly even see the city. Most of it is just, you see a cloud. If you want to show off the weather, that I think you did a great job. Sophie. All right, Sophie. How was it? It wasn't good for me. It was really probably the most patch bag thing. All right, let's see. How was he able to get this kind of lighting up here? I think it's great. Editing, colors, great for me. Her pose is actually pretty cool. The fact that she has her hands really firm, remember the harness was there and they had to retouch that out. She, she did a great job. She was doing so many cool poses and they chose this for her. I mean, it's not like my favorite. I just feel like she had other ones. I don't know. I don't love the shot. It's like a real Tower of Pisa meets a candy store thing. And with the proportion of the headpiece to your arm, it really takes the pose and moves it all the way over. And it's really hard for me to get a concept of the proportion of your dress. Kelly, Kelly's writing a whole thesis statement on this picture here. I'm just like, oh yeah, it's a great picture. Kelly's like, well, the proportion of the headpiece is not equal to the ratio of the dress here. Who else watched an earlier season of America's Next Top Model where Kelly was a judge? And I'll just say she wasn't very nice. One of the episodes that me and Azizi reacted to, you guys have never seen it because it, it keeps being copyright claimed. But in that episode, she, Kelly actually argues and fights with one of the models and says some really mean things. Nice to see that she's not acting like that anymore. Hopefully, it's actually genuine. You, you don't look like a model to me in your face. And it's not... Oh, I disagree. I would love to photograph Ebony. She's beautiful. She looks like... She's definitely model to me. Maybe if she... Because she's wearing a black dress, her arm kind of blends into the photo. You see how she's doing one of these? If she would have just separated her arm a little bit. But then again, it was raining and the editing is a little bit more contrasted. You don't even see the line that defines the shape of her arm. I think she did an incredible job. This is a great picture. One of my favorites. I think the angle of the face is brilliant. But I think the legs, the lower part body could extend it a little more. Is she, is she wearing a hair tie? Is that a hair tie? Any photographers here want to chime in about the hair tie? Anybody? Our worst nightmare. That's the first thing that you check for. Especially like if you have some, a model who's been wearing a hair tie and she takes it off, there will be an indentation. So you gotta, again, you just gotta make sure it's just not there. It's a rookie mistake though for this show. Come on. I think this picture is absolutely beautiful. And this is what I'm talking about, a model knowing her angles. And I... Why do you gotta flash back to Ebony? She didn't even do anything. <laughs> Ebony knows her angles, okay? With further investigation, I realized that she's wearing that same hair tie in an earlier challenge. See, that's how. I, that's why I should be a detective. I'm just Professor Layton. Just saying, hire me. Let's see who goes home. It better not be Ebony. I will be upset. You just can't. You can't do it. Well, Ebony and Alicia, please don't fall. Why? Represents the girl that is still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Both of you share some of the highest potential in this competition. Can we just skip this one, Tyra? Can everybody win? The judges look at you, Ebony, and look at you, Alicia, and go, whoa, amazing. These girls- Okay, so why are they there? So who stays in this competition? Bo both of them? Alicia. And my light went out too, look at this. Everything's just, everything's crashing around me here. I was trying to have a moment and then my light dies. I'm like, can you not, this is not good. a good time. I'm like why, like do you, you decide now out of all the time, like Ebony's going home and you decide to just stop working? So rude. I can't stay. You can't stay? I can't be selfish when I know that I need to do things for myself. I can't do it. I'm not gonna take it away from them and I'm not gonna take it for myself. I would rather walk away to get my spirit back and to, to just get, feel like an issue again. I'm not being ungrateful. I'm I don't really see you as being ungrateful. There's no wrong for you to walk away. So you can leave. 
but Ebony is leaving with you. What? What? Oh my God! What an what an angel. She basically was giving up her spot. And Tyra's like, well, you can leave and Ebony's going with you. Do I agree with Tyra's reaction? No, she could have kept Ebony. There was an extra spot there. She could have kept Ebony, but she chose not to. And she's going to, you're going to hug him after all that? Be honest, you guys. If you had to do a photo shoot like this, would you do it? Why or why not? Leave your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.